Hello YouTube, welcome back to Transport Fever. I hope you enjoyed the last episode with the mixture of ride-alongs and sorting out stuff in uh, Ottawa and whatnot. Uh, let's have a quick peek up at Ottawa. Yep, there, there we go, there's Ottawa building building up some people at the station. We're going to be making use of that, obviously. It's going to become a lot busier with an extra line in here. I don't know how I'm going to manage it over here though, because this is absolutely crazy. Uh, how are these doing? 54, 54, very good. How's this train going? 32 of 90, okay. So it's definitely helping out. There is a definite, there was nothing wanted to go out from Philadelphia to wherever we're, we're going next, so. Yeah, we, we need to work a we need to work a few things out. I think we're going to have to do a little bit of a little bit of work here and there. What we're going to be doing in this episode? Well, I did say in the last episode that we were looking at getting the extension to Thunder Bay, but we are going to do a few more train upgrades and streamlining, as I also said. First things first, though. See this train here. This train right here. I am going to actually get that uh, on its own little route in a moment and uh, we're going to pull it off somewhere somewhere out here and we're going to have a little area where we're going to park some trains and we're going to go uh, do some weird museum thing on them so uh, we're going to see we're going to see if this actually works out uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this but I am going to I'm going to try something. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and bring it into the freight station and then from the freight station head it towards the next freight station via a a little bit of a this this area can become our little I don't know rail yard whatever. So we're going to do that. Uh so let's get straight on straight onto that. Let's work out what we want to do and how we want to do it. In fact, where should we have it? Where should we have it? That's actually now now that I'm thinking about that, is there a would there be a smart place to have this? Ooh. I kind of want to have a really a place where there isn't much. I don't want it up there. I want it somewhere around here. What about up here? Can I go up here? But how am I going to get it up there? That's the problem. Over here? Got all the trains everywhere. We could just have a, a line of different old trains here. Or even here. There's no, no harm in having it right here, stopping stopping Chicago growing too much could do that I don't know I don't know I don't know well for now for now we're just going to stick it out here so let's let's do this so we're going to uh, have let's do something from across here That. Yep, none of that, please. And we'll swing it around. Like so, and we're actually going to bring it in right in the middle, or out here. So, let's do this. Like so. Like this. Okay, great. And then we're going to have to do some really weird connection over here which you might not be too happy about but uh, we're probably going to have to do this just to make sure that it does actually do what we want it to do okay good 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 and now we will uh, can we do we're gonna need another one the other way aren't we It out that way yeah let's do let's do one out out here I don't uh, don't like this idea anymore 
Let's do it. Let's do it anyway. Like so. And, uh... No, no, no. We're going to do... Let's get some proper sidings going here. Like so... that and uh, like that this is only I think this this is probably only going to be a temporary home for for these trains but it should be a home nonetheless Four. Okay, we can put some more in on this side. That's going to be five. And then out out of this we'll have six. There we go. That works for me. We could put some we could put some trains in, out and around all of these. Right. So now we're going to have to stick some waypoints on each one. Uh, invisible waypoints, please. We'll stick them. We'll actually stick them in the middle. We only need one set. So two, three, four, five, six. Great! Great, 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 great. Okay. Uh, what should we do? Should we actually use these trains or should we not? That's the question. Should we actually use these trains as they are? Because what I can do, I'm, I've got an idea, right? Actually, I have a really good idea. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Um, we're going to create a, a new line. We're going to call this... This is going to be uh, in white. This is going to be the temp line. Right? And we're going to go from here to here with this line. There we go. It's actually making sense now. Right? And now we're going to go... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll pull the first one in there. So we'll actually make sure we add in the, the waypoint to make sure it goes in past that waypoint there we go okay and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, what are you carrying 42 we're going to actually copy this train so that's what six wheels and that three passenger cars bold and six wheels watch this these are going to be our historical trains there's the Baldwin six wheels. There's the passenger car. Three of them. As you as you get. That's going to be set on. No. Come on. No. Why? Oh, that. There we go. Oops. Temp line. That's the first one. Let's get that in place. So it's 1916. We're going to get this one in place. And then watch what we're going to do. So we'll follow this one. And it shouldn't be picking up anything. In fact, it can't pick up anything because we've set it on a freight line and it's a passenger train. Which means we don't have to worry about anything happening in that sense. Air yeah, you hold right there. Okay, head this one out. Look, see? Exactly same train. Yeah, but this one is all a bit bashed up. This one's bashed up. Whilst this one is not. 
and this is going to be the important part. Now, whilst we're waiting for it, I'm actually going to replace this vehicle. Replacement vehicle. One, two, three. Automatic replacement on at 25% uh, for that one train. Let's see what happens. Right, go on. Come on, tell me there's a clearance. All right, that's clear to go. Right, let's get ready for this. Let's get ready for this. We've got a nice amount of coal here now. Let's look at the difference there. See that? Look at the look at that train, and look at this train. So I had to think about how I'm going to how I'm going to manage to keep these trains running in such a fashion. So we're going to run all these temporary lines and we're going to have to leave them running. Now where are you going? Yep, that's good. That's good. So this is for this is for the historical purposes. Uh, I was, I was. It was suggested that I should do this, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Right, it's waiting for a free path. Oh, it's just waiting for this to clear. That's fine. I was gonna say, surely it can go all the way over there, but uh, okay. Right, yo. That's waiting for a free path as well. That's waiting for that train to go through. Here we go. And we'll actually... There we go. And there we have it. There's one train in the... in the depot. Next one we're going to do is this one because this is getting a replacement right now so what is this this is a 280 Baldwin class 56 with some of those uh, clerestory passage uh, passenger cars and it's in red isn't it so let's go over here by trains and it was a uh, this one in red was it that red? No, it was that red. There we go. With these. And uh, let's go find out what top it had. Yeah, we need to find out what top it had. Um, excuse me. Just need to find out what, what your roof color was. No idea. Is it black? Is it grey? I think it's black. One, two, how many did he have? Five. Three, four, five. Fantastic. There we go. So this one's obviously stopped here. We've got one train. We're going to get another one out on its way. We're going to actually create a, a new line. It's going to go from same place, from here. to uh, here where's the train gone there it is okay the line color is oh we got that cool this is going to be um, temp 2 we'll pro I'll probably give a better name for this I'll, I'll, I'll figure out a better name and that one is going to go through make sure it does go through that one there we go all right so that's the next one let's get this one in place
And similarly, whilst that's, whilst that's doing that, I'll uh, set up the replacement vehicle. I have a question. How is it going to get from... It's not. Go back to a depot. Now turn around. Head back to a depot. I hope you pick a good depot. Which depot are you going to pick? You're picking that end depot. Yeah, you should be able to... All I want you to do is go out that way. Then why didn't you do that? <sighs> Temp 2. Go out that way. That way. That way. There you go. Now, you, now you're understanding. Okay. So... Same thing here. I'm going to pick up a deep red one of those. Complete with these with one, two, three, four, five. Twenty-five percent automatic replacement on. Perfect. Brilliant. There we go. There's the second one now underway. All right. So what we can do now is, whilst that one's doing what it needs to do, we're going to set up these to be replaced. The Can-Am Express is now going to have its vehicles replaced. What are we going for here? We're going for... Can we go for deep red? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, bright red looks good. We're going for deep red. Atlantics with... Uh... Now we could go for these New York Central ones, we could go for these heavyweight parlor ones, or we could go for the Pennsylvania Railway coaches. Super heavy ones. They're really heavy. I'm not going to take those yet. We've got a choice either between the six axle or these. And then I'm going to take these. And uh, we'll go for what color? Deep gray. We're going to have to improve the signaling around this area as well. One, two, three, four, five. I think they should be able to take five quite easily. Right, I've got to watch that train. Don't want it to go anywhere. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Right, let's go watch this train pull into wherever it needs to go and then we'll watch one of these re get replaced that's headed for Detroit so come on do what you need to do should be in Detroit very soon actually so I'm actually going to go for the uh, replace now there we go they're all 40 years old so let's go actually watch this one leave that up in the corner and uh, we can get rid of that one so that's the last time we're going to see these trains on active service with these Pullman coaches Good train. Good run. Is a, I have picked the right train, haven't I? Oh dear. I'm almost certain of it. Yeah, it's the exact same train. There we go. Alrighty. I watched that one. Oh, look at that. It's going to be a double change. And they've changed. There we have it. We'll go back to that train in a moment. Let's have a look at this. The new Can-Am Express trains.
Looking good. So the Atlantics are becoming very, very heavily used. There we go. Kind of don't like the sort of the orange stripe. Um, hmm. I may end up changing that. I don't like the orange stripe on that. Kind of would like that to be. Oops. Yeah. Kind of would like that to be something, something else. But uh, hey, you know we've we've got a new train, forty-six and ninety-five. It's gonna go out that way. Looking great. Looking absolutely great. We need another train coming to Detroit. We've only got the one at the moment. I mean, look how many we've got stopping at Fort Wayne. No wonder Fort Wayne's growing at such a rate. You'd never think that, yeah, we, we need more trains stopping over here. We're going to have to sort that out. Next up, we're going to streamline. So we've got these two trains now where they need to be. That's two, two of our trains for our, our little museum. Yeah, trains coming past here, looking over that way and seeing all these different trains. Probably got them in the wrong way, but like I said, I'm probably going to move them to a much better place. Time to streamline though. Right, the one I'm thinking of streamlining is this one over here. We've got a Madison to St. Louis. We've also got a Chicago to St. Louis. So I'm thinking that I should put them all together. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. This is now, these two vehicles are going to both switch to the Madison St. Louis line. Uh, how do I change it? No, not that. This one here. Madison St. Louis. And then the color of that is now going to change to green. The green that we, we were using before. Which was... So that one? No, it was this one. Right? Because that, that's, that makes sense to me. Because it's already being used in that, in that form. What, what's the point of having a Chicago-St. Louis line now... Um, when we when we've got one going to Madison and just passing through, so we can actually get rid of this line. That if we have a look historically, does it show us lifetime? No. I wish it showed us like lifetime profit of a line or something. That would have been kind of cool. We can uh, get rid of that line. There we go. And now that we've got rid of that line, we can also, and we've got these trains in over here, as you can see. They're right there. That's the original Chicago St. Louis lane. Uh, lane? Lois Lane, yes. Wow. I want to go watch Superman now. Right, let's, uh, let's get these replaced. Now, we don't need super fast trains here. So we don't need the Atlantics. I think the mogul's going to do us very, very nicely here at 47 miles per hour. I wish we had something else, though, that we could possibly use. We've got this power car. I don't want to use that. Yeah, I don't want to use that one. What I do want to do is I want to use the mogul in possibly a deep green color. Yep, let's do that. Uh, with... Well, I'll, I'll use those cars, so these ones. Yeah, let's use those. Uh, and we'll take two of those, I think, would do the trick. How much is that? No, we'll have to take three, won't we? That's 48 passengers. On a faster train, though. So, you know, that it, it does sort of even itself out. Though it's a really heavy... Very, very heavy they are. Uh, maybe I should have taken the, hev the New Haven coach for the Can-Am. That's alright. It's okay. The only reason is because it's got the red stripe. I don't want to. But I don't know where New Haven... I don't know where that line is. So let's do that. Let's uh, go ahead and go vehicle replacement on. Replace now switch that off again actually 
There we go. So this is a 82 ton train. So this is definitely going to get a lot heavier. 56 meters, 82 tons. It's going to get heavier and longer. Is there any other train pulling in at the moment? No. This is probably the first train that's going to change. So we get to see the last, we get to see this train in action for the last time. This is actually the original train. This is the first train we ran. Or well, it was actually it's train three. It's not the first train we ran, but you know what I mean. We had three trains on that line originally. And that is, so this is one of the first three. Another big train going out there. I think I've got an idea of what to name those historical trains as well. Wow, look at all this. There's an oil train going out there. There's a coal train going out there. And then there's this train coming in for the last time. How lovely. In fact, you know what? Wall's right there. Kind of a decent... That's kind of a decent screenshot opportunity. I could always use that one instead. Follow it. Follow it. There we go. Oh! Well, maybe I should have just waited a few more seconds. How much is that carrying? Oh, I want to know. 43, that's not too bad. It's a half full train. And it comes for the final time. Making its nice squealy noises. Fantastic. 65 year reign for this train, 65 years. From, I think, 1857, right? I think. That's weird. New Pennsylvania coaches. Even though we're Illinois, but it's on the Pennsylvania Railroad, so, yeah. Wait, St. Louis is in no, it's not. In, it's not in Illinois, is it? It's Indiana that way. Illinois, Chicago, that's all Illinois. And we've got Wisconsin. So where Green Bay and everything is, that's Wisconsin. And Milwaukee. So... I don't know. I don't know. Well, at least this can run how it's supposed to run, so that's absolutely fine. Is train changed? No, that one hasn't changed. This train changed? Nope, that one hasn't changed. Any trains in here that have changed yet? No. We've also got this one. This one's going to be retired uh, in a fair amount of time. But this is what I'm going to do. Uh, let's name this. To end this episode, we're going to name this train... St. Louis to Chicago, 18, what was it? It was 65 years, wasn't it? Uh, so what's the date right now? 1918. So if we go back 65 years from there, uh, you're going back to 1853, right? Yeah, 1853. So there we go, 18... 53 to 1918. So actually, St. Louis to Chicago. There we go. 
so that's actually got the got the ages of the train and what what line it originally came from so same thing we're going to do for this one um, but obviously I don't know when this first started Can-Am Express uh, let me see if one of the trains hopefully one of the trains has not changed yet I don't know odds are they all have let's find out Ah, uh, they've all changed. Ah, uh, I'll have to go look through the footage. Unless someone can tell me in the comments box when did the Canam, when did the Canam one start, and then I'll be able to do that. But there we go. That brings us to the end of the episode. We managed to get the the history trains started up. I probably will do that as the thumbnail actually, because that's what we spent most of our time on. And we streamlined, and we streamlined one of the lines to make sure that we actually working everything correctly thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on transport fever there is still plenty more to come on this in terms of signaling in terms of hooking up grand rapids and rockford and in terms of just getting everything going obviously thunder bay rail lines sudbury we've got to do we want to build up ottawa we want to get that line in and around the mountains into philadelphia we want to improve that approach we've got so much to do the second phase over here which needs to cross over towards Detroit, maybe even round from here going towards Detroit. We need to do all of that stuff, so do leave comments, do subscribe to the channel, and do check me out on Patreon. I would massively appreciate that support, and of course you then get access to Discord and all that great stuff, and you'll be able to communicate more with me and you know have your ideas influence the game a lot, lot more. Uh, anything else to add? No, I think that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Transport Fever.